there's a lot of uncertainty in the world right now, especially in education. Yes. So is the, are we going to, uh, the pandemic going to take us out of in-person school again? Are we going to, you know, just, just a lot of uncertainty. What's your, what's your best advice for people leading in that kind of uncertain environment? Well, my sister is a second grade teacher in Jacksonville, Florida, and she, um, I'll tell you, she's one of the hardest working people I know. And I think the important thing is to, um, no matter what you're doing, if it's at, you know, in school, in-person school, or if it's, um, you know, online school is to still stay as connected as possible individually, um, you know, with your kids, because, I, I watched my daughter um, do online school for her senior year and it was pretty sad. I kind of watched her tune out a little and turn off who she was. And there's a part of me that maybe wishes that her teachers would have maybe been a little more accountable with making sure that every person in the class was speaking and that every person in the class was uh, turning their camera on to be seen. Um, you know, I walk into her, you know, room where she's going to school and it seemed like there was always the same one or two people kind of taking the, up the conversation. And my daughter was all too happy to allow that to happen because, you know, she could then just zone out. But I think it's, I think you have to make sure that your quietest kid is, um, you know, participating as much as you know, your most talkative kids. So I don't know. I, I mean, I've never been a teacher, but I have so much respect for our educators and everything they're trying to do right now. And especially with the online school, um, you know, whatever you can do to look right into that kid's eyes and make sure that they're, you know, they're there is important.